Halloween is definitely the best time of year to watch some creepy movies. As you can tell, I've been watching a lot of Evil Dead, Nightmare on Elm Street, and I kind of wanted to watch a newer, well, I wouldn't really say it's a horror movie, but a newer, creepier movie, and I uh, subscribed to Shudder. It's actually not that bad. Obviously, this isn't an advertisement, I'm just saying. $6.99 a month, not bad at all. You get a lot of horror movies. And on there was a movie I've been wanting to watch that has not been playing in my theater, which is called When Evil Lurks. So, checked it out. And it was definitely not, to me, in my opinion, I didn't think it was as good as people said it was. Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb, everyone gave it like, like Rotten Tomatoes specifically, they gave it like a 98. IMDb gave it like a 3 out of 5. Shutter gave it a 4 out of 5. So really good ratings. Um, definitely not a bad movie, but I was expecting something different. And I like when my, you know, expectations get turned around and I get something different. But here it was... A bit of a different situation it's kind of hard to explain uh, i'll start off with the positives first the movie does a really good job it's more about possession um, i'm not gonna ruin it because it's pretty new to streaming i think it just came out today so i won't ruin it for you guys but it's really about possession in a way um there is good character moments but at the same time like there is good development but i just i don't know what it was but I didn't really care about the characters, which is really weird because I thought the acting was actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if it was how the characters were written, but uh, the dialogue was pretty good. Um, the movie wasn't boring. The pacing is really good. It's only an hour and 40 minutes, so it's a really good runtime. Like, there's not a scene where, you know, you get bored. Like, it's not a bad movie. There's just something about it that didn't sit with me right, and... I think they did a really good job with the whole possession idea. Um, none of it's, there's no, there's not one stupid uh, jump scare. It's really, really subtle. And basically the demon jumps around to other bodies and then you figure out who's possessed. And it never really shows what the demon looks like. Like you never really see it. I guess that's kind of a spoiler, sorry. But, uh, yeah, he jumps around. You don't really see him, which makes it even more creepier to me instead of seeing him, you know, like in The Conjuring or Insidious or something like that. So I thought that was really good. I thought they handled that really well. It definitely kept the suspense of the movie because I was kind of curious if they were going to show something and they don't, which I think was a good idea. Uh, the movie's definitely original. It's not a remake of anything. Um, it's very creative. I haven't really seen a possession movie done like this before, so I really respect that. Uh, the score of the movie was really good. There is a lot of pauses. Uh, the score and the music was really good. Like I said, the acting was good. Dialogue is good. But there was just something, I don't know what it was, that I, I just didn't really care about the characters. I... I was more interested in the situation and, you know, where that was going to go. But, like, if anything happened to them, I just didn't really care. But I was kind of curious on how they were going to handle the rest of the movie, if you guys know what I mean. Like, it's it's kind of complicated. Um, definitely bloody. Uh, a lot of gory kills. There's definitely a lot of disgusting scenes. Um... There is one part in particular that I will not ruin that definitely sticks out that, you know, it's like something I really haven't seen before. Um, and I've seen Terrifier 1 and 2, so I've seen a lot of nasty shit. Um, I definitely wouldn't recommend this to, like, everybody. It's definitely for a, a smaller audience of people. It's more of an indie horror movie. But mind you, it is in Spanish. Uh, Shudder did not have like an English version. So there is subtitles if that bugs you guys. And I guess don't watch the movie unless a different version comes out. I have no idea. Um, 
Yeah, there's not really much negatives to say other than they just didn't really care about the characters too much. And I think if they did, I think it would have given the movie a bit of a better rating because it is a good movie. It is solid. Um, something I haven't seen before. I was invested the whole time. I was never bored. Um, the ending is pretty... Like, it was okay. It wasn't... I was I was just expecting a bit more. I don't know why the reviews were so high. I think I might have had my expectations set a bit too high, which I don't usually do. But something told me this was going to be something you know that's going to stick with me, and in a way, it kind of does because it is different and unique. So it'd be fun to talk about. But I don't know if I'd ever watch it again. But uh, it's a very interesting movie. I think it definitely has a lot of layers to it. I think if I did rewatch it, maybe I would like it more, but I just have so many other movies to watch. Um, yet again, good pacing and a very well produced movie. So if you're looking for something which is different and out of the ordinary, not like your ordinary cliche horror torture porn movie, I think you will like this. And the acting is really good. But, I don't know, man. When you don't care about the characters, it, it gets a bit hard to want to go back to that movie and watch it again. So the replay value isn't really there for me. Um, and it's just such a serious and depressing movie. So, I don't know. 7 out of 10, I think that's a good score. I do think 98% is a bit too high. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Support this movie if you can. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.